Hey, hi everyone, welcome back to another video on Cucumber. So today in this video, we'll mainly focus on how to pass parameter in Cucumber. So we'll mainly cover three points in this video. What is parameters in Cucumber? What is the usage of parameter passing in Cucumber? And how actually we can achieve this without example. So don't confuse it with, with this keyword called without example. So in Cucumber, we have one option called with examples. Also, you can pass the parameters. So we'll get to know what is without example and with example. So if you remember last video, we created this project and we created this folder structure. We had this feature file and uh, for the same, we created one test runner. And this test runner is executing all the feature files, which is present under this features folder. And we have written this smoke test as well. And it was hard coded. So what is parameters actually? If you see here, I have everything is hard coded, like open Firefox start application. So let's say if I want to run this script in Chrome browser or in I browser, I have to create another scenario. So if I pass some parameters here, I can change this based on the requirement. So some things we can parameterize here like Firefox. So browser I can parameterize username password I can parameterize so that I can use that uh, feature file effectively. So if you go to the smoke test which we have written in the last video here we have everything is hard coded like username and password which I'm passing is hard coded. The browser which I am starting is hard coded. So using parameters we can uh, make our uh, you can say script more usable. So how to pass parameters? It's very easy process. Let's say I want to parameterize this username and password. So what I have to do simple. I will put double quotes here and uh, that's all close this double code here. So when I put double quotes, Cucumber will automatically understand like whatever thing you are giving double quotes, it's a parameter. So that's a good thing about Cucumber. You don't have to write additional code here. And when you put double quotes here, so now Cucumber will understand like you are passing two arguments. One is username, one is password. So now it, you have to handle it accordingly how you have to pass it. So you need to update your smoke test because here we don't have any parameter and this is the username pass, password which is hard coded. So now the question comes even though I pass parameter how will I accept. So don't worry just run this test runner first and you will see very interesting feature of Cucumber. So when I run this test runner it will start my test as usual. So you can see currently we have three steps. So let me put down here. Yeah. So the first scenario open Firefox start application. And you can see here I have username password as a parameter. So the first step Cucumber will automatically execute without any failure because in this one we have not passed any parameter. But when it comes to this particular statement, it will give you this console window and it will ask you, please pass the parameters. You can see here, since we have passed the parameter, it is giving me the skeleton like you need to write method in this way. So don't change the complete code, only just take this particular line when go to your smoke test. And now if you see your previous one, it is very hard coded. So now we got the new statement. So I will simply copy paste. And here you can see internally they are handling these parameters. So this regular expression will automatically take care of the parameters. And if you go to console again, they already said you have to accept two arguments, <coughs> string one and string two. So I will make the changes here. So right now they are giving ARG1, ARG2. You can change it uh, since we have to write a script in a uh, proper manner. I will say it's my U name 
and it will be my password. So now whatever you name and password will pass from the feature file, it will receive into these parameters and these parameters I will pass here. Okay, so let's change here. I will give my username is mukesh at the rate gmail.com and password which I am using is selenium at the rate 123. So this is the username password which I want to pass into my test script. So let's run this test runner and you will notice this time it will run with the parameters which we have passed. So the example which I am showing you right now this is without example. So we can pass multiple parameters as well in Cucumber using example keyword. So let's wait for the execution. So it started. And good thing about Cucumber when particular step will get executed. It will mark that as green. So you will notice when first step is done you will get green scenario. Yes pass. And you see it's passing Mukesh and the respective parameters. Maybe you did not uh, see because yeah you can see here it passed mukesh at the gmail.com and password selenium at the rate 123. So it's very easy to pass parameters in Cucumber but you might have noticed one thing here like if I have to pass multiple username password let's say I have to execute the same test case with five different login credentials. So I had two ways here. First way I will directly copy paste this scenario five times and I will change the username password. This is also one way but it's not promising because it doesn't like a standard way. Simply I'm repeating this scenario and changing the credentials. So in this case if you want to run in this way also it's fine but I have another way in which you can pass multiple parameters and it will accept. So it will run the test case. Let's say you have given five credentials. So it will run your test case five times with multiple set of data. So that is our next topic. We will discuss how to pass multiple parameters. And in other words, it is called data driven uh, testing in Cucumber. So that is our next video. So we'll cover the same. And before moving to the actual data driven testing, I will show you how to start with the Maven because in the previous uh, video we created a uh, plain Java project we added all the jar files right but I will show you if you want to start with Maven then how you can add the, all the dependencies because this is not the ideal way to write this uh, creating projects let's say if you want to forward this project to another team member or another colleague they have to remove all the previous jars, they have to download the new jars, they have to add again. It's a tedious task. And even if they want to update any library, they have to update manually. Since we are automation guy, we will focus how we can make the task easy. So in the next video, we'll discuss how to create a Maven project, how to add the dependencies and how to start with a data driven test. That's all I have for this video. And before closing, you can see it is passing the parameters here. So in the report itself, you will get what parameters has been passed. That's all I have for this video. Just try this and let me know if you have any doubt. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.